Look at that tiny little frog. Can you see it there, David? That is tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny. Look how small it is compared to my finger. I'm going to put my finger there and I'm hoping that it's not going to jump away. This is my little finger. Look at that. That's crazy, hey? So this is the water lily frog. Remember the only frog that we could find on World Frog Day? This is it. This is that teeny tiny little one. It's quite green in color. At the moment you can see it's looking quite light in color. And that's just because normally of the thermoregulation. So it'll actually be reflecting the light. That is so cool. I wanna see if I can get a, a bit of view for you. Don't jump, please don't jump. Look at that. Oh, hang on. Maybe it's a golden leaf folding frog. Can somebody very kindly please send through, go onto the interweb and search golden leaf folding frog and water lily frog? I've never seen a golden leaf folding frog in real life before. This could be a first for me and we have heard them calling here. Remember just before I went on holiday, we kept trying desperately at these pans to find one. I think that's exactly what it is. I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to go with golden leaf folding frog. And that is incredible. If it is, is another one. Look, David, they're everywhere. Can you see this one down here? Look at that. So two of them. It's amazing what happens when you get down on your hands and knees out here in the bush and you just stare into a shrub. Everything that once was well, sort of camouflaged beautifully then, of course, starts to reveal itself. That's incredible. That is so beautiful. Just sitting on the edge of the leaf there. Then of course this will be mainly its natural coloration if it isn't the water lily frog. But we'll have to just confirm. But I forgot about the dear old leaf folding frog. And they're tiny. Both of them are really, really small. Only a couple of centimeters big. That one's probably only about two and a half centimeters. Maybe three centimeters if that. So pretty small, as you saw, in comparison to my hand. Oh, there's another one. Another one even down there on the edge. They're everywhere. This is really amazing. Now, I was very silly. I should have just got off the car when I was looking for them on my last cycle. That would have been the easier option. They're all popping out everywhere. Let's see if we can get any other frogs. And what I was going to say was watch carefully as I approach this long grass, because often the little frogs will come and rest in between. Oh, Nancy, you said that it does look like a golden leaf folding frog. Thank you for confirming that. Obviously, I don't have a frog book with me, so it's a little bit difficult to on the spot check. That's why it's so nice when you are driving around because you can just fill your camera box or a big box filled with all the books that you need and go through it. So, Nancy, thank you so much for helping me out over there. And remember, if you do um, see anything or if we do need any help, hashtag Safari Live with perhaps pictures or even start a gallery and keep this. So if we need something to refer to again next time, We've got the golden leaf folding frog. Now